Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 14 of the uh, October Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, drop in Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. I am going to, I'm still very tired. I don't know. I, I just can't be, go to sleep uh, early enough or get enough sleep, so we'll see. But, uh, but I just ran five miles, did the whole thing. Hopefully, it will be good and I'll get my energy back in like a couple of weeks. But yeah. Uh, so today we have a easy palm. Let's get right to it. You know, let's jump to it and and yeah, let's just do it. Thirty three forty nine adjacent increasing subarray detection. I uh, given away nums of n uh, of one. So maybe there's a two tomorrow. I don't know. Okay, so you give give an n and a k. Determine there are two ex adjacent subarrays of then k such that both subarrays are increasing. What? Okay, that's the part I was like, why would they just call it B? Why would you? It's kind of weird, right? Because you would just call it A plus A plus K to A plus K plus K minus one. So I don't know why they did the A A B thing, but in any case, yeah, uh, I would say the first thing uh, is you could probably be pretty lazy, right? In that, um, you know, n is a hundred. You could be forgiven to do if you want to do something that's n square or even n cube, really, and it's fine. Um, but the thing that I would, of course, especially for daily problems on a contest, I would probably just do something n square, just because it's the fastest, right? Um, to get it done. I mean, not the fastest in execution or complexity, but to get it done, so I could work on Q two, right? It is what it is. <clears throat> Um, but given this, now I think, the, um, yeah, there are a couple of relationships you can think about, right? Is that there is really a little bit of a case analysis, right? What I mean is that, um, you know, similar to what we did yesterday, I suppose, um, the less than operation or the increase, uh, less than being... Uh, the operation that we do to differentiate strictly increasing is transitive, right? Meaning that if A is less than B and B is less than C, A is less than C. Very obvious, hopefully, um, right? So then the question is, uh, what does that mean, right? That means that if you kind of look at things in terms of streaks, um, there will only two possibilities, right? That means that if you have, you know, a, a, a number or... Uh, it's easier to write this, right? So let's say k is equal to 3. Without loss of, I mean, you could generalize a little bit more. That means that, if you have, if you have, that means that you're looking at a sequence of 2 times k, right? Obviously. And really, there's only, uh, if you look at it in terms of streaks, there's only two variations uh, of sorts, right? One is that they're, all, they're in one long streak of length 2 times k. The other is that, um, well, it has to end at here, right? One, two, three. Um, because if it ends here, then that means that we don't have the first three as a, as an increasing sequence because our, that's the definition of a new streak, meaning that it already broke the streak. That means that by definition, this has to be a streak. However, it doesn't have to be um, doesn't have to look like this because you can also imagine that. It you know it could be a streak of five se six seven you know this extended from the left side so maybe seven's a little too high because then you already have one two three four five six but you get the idea right that this can be a big number um, and then it goes to one two three to start a new one so then you only have two cases and then basically the idea is that now we can create the streak array uh, and then from that streak array we can just do these if two if statements to for the two case analysis and that will give us a linear time in two passes. And in fact, uh, yeah, <clears throat> uh, it's linear space. I don't think you could do better than, I mean, you could do O of K space, which is, um, you would say, yeah, it's, well, it's still linear, but it's, because K is, uh, could be N in the worst case or N over two, I suppose. But, you know, uh, yeah. So, okay, so then the idea that, uh, oh yeah, now we have the idea, Let, let's create a thing, right? So streaks is equal to do, 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 right? 
Uh, and maybe we just have a no no set streak just to make it a little bit easier. Uh, and then we have for x and um, mm, do I usually write? Uh, maybe I just write this right. Count you. Do I? I'm taking a pause because I don't know if y'all. Uh, I, I I guess not everyone looks at you know. Uh, whatever, right? But the reason I, I'm being a little bit annoyed, not at this problem, but in general, is because because um, I had to write this exact same thing for what was it Q three of the weekly contest or something like that, and I and I just wrote it really fast, and I was solving on the harder po portion of that problem, and I got this one wrong, so I'm just like getting flashback P uh, PTSD from that. I'm like, ah, oh, dang it, Larry. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I guess in this case, I don't really need to start at zero, but so yeah, and then now you could kind of, you know, you're not confident or whatever, you could always just point it out just to make sure that, you know, right now it is what you expect, right? And you have five, I mean, this is definitely not what I expect, right? Uh, oh man, I can't believe it. I, I'm saying I can't believe it because this is literally... Um, the same mistake I, I made last on, on that Q3 I just talked about, right? I just talked about this, and I made the same exact mistake. Uh, I mean, I, we expect this to be incorrect at some point because we, we didn't return anything. So, yeah, but we just want to look at the array and see that this makes... I mean, luckily this time I didn't get a wrong answer from it, but it's still like I literally just talked about it, right? Uh, uh, I, I don't know what to say. It happens. But yeah. Um... You can technically, of course, while you're pending, you could just look back to the previous one, right? But um, but it's also okay to kind of just, you know, write it out in a second path. I mean, it's still, yeah, I mean, it's still fast enough. I don't want to worry about it, right? So if streaks of i um, is equal to k, right? And streaks of i minus k is greater than you go to k, then we return true. That's basically it, hopefully. And of course, i has to be greater than, or has to be at least uh, k, right? Looks okay. Let's give a quick submit. Hopefully I didn't make a silly mistake, and I did make a silly mistake. We have negative numbers, huh? Uh, that's not, I mean, we do have negative numbers, but that's not the issue. Is it? I don't know. Maybe we, I just don't handle k is equal to 1 correctly. Because I feel like this should give me the right answer for this one. I didn't enable it. Hmm. Why is, oh, this is 2. Oh, huh. No, no, I mean, I'm, I'm just dumb. Today, I, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I even point out there are two cases. One is this, and then I just didn't even implement this one. I don't know what to say, friends. <laughs> uh, I mean, I literally was like, oh, why didn't I just, I, I don't know. And I just didn't even test it. I was just so, uh, okay. I mean, yeah, it's good that, you know, we validate our, our thing to be correct. But uh, but today I'm clearly having a bad implementation day. Uh, I am pooped, not going to lie. Um, yesterday I ran 19 miles. Today I only ran five miles, but I am still like, my body and my brain probably is still recovering from that a bit. Uh, and you could see it, because this is slop. I mean, the albums part, I'm, I did okay. I spun everything correctly, but then I, I somehow made the same mistake, and then I just forgot to implement this all together, even though, you know, we talked about it. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be linear time, linear space. Uh, I am of no use today, so I'm just going to call it a, a rest. Uh, I'm going to go, yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy. Do good mental health. If you're up to here, leave some uh, inspiring comments for me because I am out of energy. So please and thank you. Stay good. Stay healthy. Do good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.